If you just got a new Samsung The Frame TV, congratulations! I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com and first of all, thanks for clicking on this video. If you want to check out the full review of the Frame TV, it is right here on the channel, so take a look. The new Samsung 2021 Frame TV has a new feature called MultiView, and in this video we'll look at what MultiView is, plus how to set it up and how to use it. MultiView lets you watch what's on the Frame TV and your mobile device on the same screen at the same time, or you can show two different HDMI sources or even show your cable feed and YouTube all at once. This feature works amazingly well, though it is a bit weird to get set up and adjust. To access MultiView, press the home button on the remote and then select MultiView, which looks like the three rectangles with a plus symbol in the middle. There is also a one touch MultiView button right on the remote control. First, you'll choose your content. From the menu, select your first source, then you'll see a double box pop up. Click on the other of the two windows where content can be viewed using the cursor keys, then click the big OK button on the remote. That'll give you a menu to choose your next source, and it can be cable, streaming, your game console, or whatever. If one of your sources is already connected to the TV via HDMI, you can access that by choosing the Select App Source option. If it's YouTube, for example, you can then go into that and then choose your specific video. If one of the two things you want to watch is coming from your smartphone, like your Twitter or your Instagram feed, the next thing you need to do is turn on screen mirroring on your phone. Once you do that, the frame will see it and open it up in one of those windows. You can also choose smartphone as one of the first options when you start the multi-view process. Once you've got all your sources chosen, you can adjust the size of your windows and move them around. Make one bigger or smaller or even up the sizes. You can also use picture-in-picture, picture, layering your social feed right over a TV show, for example. You can also mirror your laptop or your PC screen if your computer supports this feature. MultiView also lets you choose which screen you can get the audio from or listen to both. I will say you've got a ton of options here with MultiView. There's different screen sizes, different display options, different sources, and I highly recommend playing with the MultiView feature for a while to get a feel for it since there's almost so many options it can be a bit overwhelming. Don't forget, if you found this video helpful, to please hit that like button and do go ahead and subscribe for cool new tech reviews. The full review of the Samsung Frame TV, by the way, is also here on the channel as well. If you want to read this topic or reference any of what I've talked about, head over to techgadgetscanada.com where I've got a full write-up. You can ask me any questions you have either there on the blog or, as always, here on the YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Erin. Until the next time, you can find me on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also always reach me through Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.